What's going on guys and welcome back. This is part five of the Ultimate Boombox build. Uh, see, uh, series two technically because I remembered like halfway through this that I had named the first round of this with the single six by nine, the same damn thing. So with that being said guys, we've cut the holes in the speaker uh, for the speakers. We put the uh, battery, we've wired it all up, made it kind of uh, neat and uniform for y'all to be able to follow what I'm doing. Now we got to tackle the charging port. And there's several places you can put a charging port. Some people like them up top. Some people like them on the side. Really just depends on the box that you're going to use. And this box, I'm just going to do it on the side. Okay? I think it'll be easier on the side. Yeah, we'll just do it on the side. Nah. Mm. Side. Should we do a side? Where to do it? Where do I want to do it? You know, we'll do it here. I see a lot of people doing it here. So I'll go ahead and show you all how to do it there. So, use this battery to kind of hold this box up while we make this, this video part. All right. So, we are going to need a DC plug-in port. We're going to need the grommet and cover. And we're also going to need the locking ring. Now, depending on which one you buy, will depend on the size you are going to use. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a step bit that's smaller but has a lot more grooves in it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to center my hole up. I'm going to drill it to where I think it's good, and make sure you clean the hole, and then we'll test fit it. I believe this one's going to have to go all the way. Yep. So, go ahead and go all the way through. There we go. And now let's test fit it again. Perfect. I could have probably went one step less, but it would be all right. And I have this cool little holder for all the step bits. So, put my name tag back in there, which doesn't have a name on it right now. All right, now we gotta assemble this little thing. So we're gonna put the grommet on. Now remember, anything switches, grommets, anything like this that's gonna be threaded and tightened into the box, if you want a little added security, just go ahead and throw a little silicone around it and you'll be good to go. Now we're going to install the locking ring. And if you make it too tight and you force it in, you can damage the threads unless you use the metal ones. Now with the metal ones, I'll give you a fair warning. Sometimes there are reverse polarity. If that happens, you will fry stuff. So be aware of that. Now we've got to adapt this DC plug to this DC plug. And I like to make mine interchangeable. Like, if something happens to the battery, I want to be able to just hot swap it out and be good to go. I'll use a DC male plug, and I'll use a dual-ended, isolated um, lever connector like this one. It makes for a very clean install that you can still work on. I can change the DC plug if it goes bad. I can change the battery if it goes bad. Let's go ahead and just strip the ends off that. Blue will be negative. Red will be positive. Let me go ahead and zoom y'all out just a hair. There we go. Test fit your connections just to make sure that they're in there real good. And we're good to go. Come over here. Strip both those out. And the same thing. Blue negative. Red positive. And you know what? We'll clean it up a little bit more by cutting this down quite a bit. Still leaving just a little extra in case we have to do any modifications down the road. Let 
We'll grab one of these zip tie hold downs. Grab a zip tie. Zoom in for y'all. I really like these little zip tie hold downs. If you have a 3D printer, you can 3D print them instead of buying them, but they are so cheap. Get a pack of, I think, a hundred of them. Along with zip ties for literally like 10 bucks. I think it's $7.99 to be exact. And now we can just plug these two together and we can zip tie hold down that if we would like. So I'll grab another one. Put that right there. Remember, this is a boom box. Things are gonna rattle when the base hits. So the more secure stuff is, the better. Some people might think it's overkill, but there's no such thing when it comes to electronics. All right, so now we have all that done. We have our charging port ready to go. We have our battery installed. We have our amp installed. Now, the only thing left to do is to install the top, put the speakers in. So, let's go ahead and cut over to part six. <laughs> 